Hello! This video will walk you through how to ingest data into Panther. My name is Matt. I work on Panther's customer enablement team, and I'll be your host. In this video, I'm going to cover a brief overview of Panther data ingestion and how to set up different types of data sources with Panther, specifically a supported API log type, in this case, Duo, a custom HTTP log source, and an S3 bucket. Note that we have extensive documentation that covers onboarding data to Panther. It is located at docs.panther.com. Please keep this resource in mind when configuring log sources. First, let's start with an overview of how data ingestion works with Panther. There are two main types of log source categories, direct API integrations and sources powered by data transport mechanisms. Our Slack, Duo, and Okta integrations are examples of our direct integrations. Our AWS integrations require setting up S3 or SQS as a data transport mechanism. Data transport mechanisms like S3 buckets and our HTTP webhook are also used for custom log formats that aren't natively supported by Panther. Log sources that you connect to Panther must be associated with a schema. Schemas inform Panther how to normalize data for downstream services like the detection engine and tables in the data lake. Panther has schemas available for every log source that we have a built-in integration for, including many AWS log types. You can create custom schemas using Panther's schema inference tool in the Panther console or the Panther log CLI tool. Let's run through the log source setup process with a few examples. We'll start with setting up a Duo log source. To connect a Duo log source to Panther, you need to have a Duo admin API application set up already. The Duo documentation covers how to accomplish this. In this case, I've already set up the application in my Duo admin console. Make sure that you grant your Duo application the grant read log permission. In the Panther console, navigate to configure and then log sources. Click create new in the upper right corner. Select the Duo tile and then click start setup. Enter a name for your log source in the Panther console and then select the log types you want to monitor. We'll include all Duo log types for this example. Click Setup, and then add the integration key, secret key, and API hostname from your Duo app. This information is available in your Duo admin console. Click Setup again. You can then choose to enable applicable Panther managed detection packs to run detections against your data. We recommend that you create a log drop-off alarm to alert you if data stops flowing from the log source into Panther. This functionality is available for all log source types that you connect with Panther. Within a few minutes, data from your new log source will start showing up in Panther. You can monitor this log source from its details page in the Panther console to see the volume of data processed and number of events processed at a high level. Now let's take a look at how to set up a custom HTTP log source. Before you embark on this process, you'll need a schema available for your incoming logs. You must select one or more schemas during HTTP source creation. Back on the new log source page, select Custom Log Formats and then HTTP. Provide a name for your log source and then select the schema to be applied to the data in the Log Types field. This should be the custom schema or schemas you've created for this source. I'm going to attach a schema I already created for this source. Select the stream type and continue. On the security page, select an auth method. More information on these options is provided in the HTTP source documentation. In this example, we'll use the basic method. I'll enter a username and password. Make sure you store this password in a safe location. Click Setup. On the Verify Setup page, note your HTTP source URL. Webhooks should make POST requests to this endpoint. After you've finished setting up the log source in Panther and updated the source to point to your webhook URL, data will start showing up in Panther. Now let's configure an S3 bucket for use with Panther. On the Create New Log Source page, select the Custom Log Formats option, then select AWS S3 Bucket. Fill out the information on this page, including a descriptive name for the S3 source, your AWS account ID, your AWS bucket name, and your KMS key if your data is encrypted using KMS SSE. Click Setup. Panther needs an AWS IAM role with permissions to read objects from your S3 bucket. There are three ways to accomplish this. Using the AWS console UI, using a CloudFormation or Terraform template file, 
or setting everything up on your own. We're going to use the AWS Console UI in this example. Click Launch Console UI. You will be redirected to the AWS Console in a new tab with the template URL filled out. The CloudFormation stack will create an AWS IAM role with the minimum required permissions to read from your bucket. Click the Outputs tab of the stack in AWS and copy the role ARN. After the stack is set up, return to the Panther console. In the Enter Role ARN field, provide the role ARN from your new stack and then click Setup. You can then attach or infer schemas or go straight to viewing the log source. Click the button to attach schemas. This will open a new page where you can opt to infer schemas from different folders in your S3 bucket. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to go a different route. Click Switch to Advanced, and then Edit Schemas. I'm going to manually attach a schema to parse the sample data I'm going to upload to my S3 bucket for this specific example. Click Save, then navigate to the log source page. As with other newly set up log sources, you will be able to see data being processed for this log source within a few minutes. That wraps up our overview of Panther data ingestion. To learn more about how other folks are using Panther, check out the Panther community, which you can join via panther.com/community. Thanks for watching.